All right, so this video might be a little better for younger students, but my son, well, my two oldest boys, I remember when they were little, they, they were really weirded out by how you could multiply to get a smaller number and how division was really multiplication, but with decimals, it was just, so anyways, let's talk about it. So multiplying to get a smaller number. We're very used to seeing things like two, let's say two multiplied by three equals six, right? So six is our product, isn't it? And then we have two factors, two and three. So the product is bigger or larger than both of the factors, right? It's larger than it's larger than two, and six is larger than three. So that's what we're used to. So when we multiply something, and when we multiply two values and get a product that's not bigger than both factors, it's a little weird for some, especially when you're a younger learner. So like, I guess my boys are like six or seven, and they were like, "Whoa, that's weird." So. Anyway, so we're going to go over that. So let's look at this problem. We're going to say 4 divided by 2. And we all know that that is equal to 2. But we're going to say 4 divided by 2 is also equal to 4 over 2, isn't it? And 4 over 2 is equal to 4 over 1 over 2 over 1, which is equal to... And we're going to write it down here, we're going to go down here, which is equal to 4 over 1 divided by 2 over 1, right? That's right. And when we divide two fractions, right, we flip the second one, whoops, let's draw that first, and then multiply straight across. The numerator times the numerator and the denominator times the denominator, right? But first we flip it. So let's rewrite it. So we have 4 over 1 times 1 over 2. Now, if we do that, if we multiply the numerator times the numerator, numerator, excuse me, and the denominator times the denominator, we end up with 4 over 2, right? Which is where we're at right here, right? And that is equal to 2. Another way we can look at it is say it is equal to, I'm up here, it's equal to, one half, right, times four, which we've seen right here. We could also say it is 0.5, and I'm right down here if you want to know where we're at, 0.5 times four. And now, let's clear this out for a second. And now we see that weird thing that we were talking about where here's a factor, right, and here's a factor but the answer is only bigger than one of the factors, isn't it? So, let's just simply look at it as we have 0.5 four times. So if we imagine 0.5 is half, right? Half of a circle, half of a circle, half of a circle, and half of a circle, right? If we put these together, we have one whole circle. Put these together, we see we have one whole circle. Combine them, we have two whole circles, so we see two, right? So it's one of those weird things that we have to wrap our brain around as we start to move into probably that like, like year five math, year six math. We should start really understanding these concepts. All right, cheers.